Yo yo, what's going on people and welcome to, the, uh, to another Awesome Nuts video. This is going to be a little bit differently from what I usually do. Uh, this is going to be addressing their Friday's update concerning the patch and how things are going for them right now. It's going to be a little bit later than expected, you know, uh, maybe a month or two months, who knows. But of course, I won't be reading the entire thing, just this one entire paragraph concerning the Voltar's nerf i do apologize ahead of time if i sound aggressive offensive or passionate whatever you want to use uh keep in mind that i do love this game it's possibly one of the best games i've played this entire year and just like you i can't wait for the new patch and hopefully buy a few things if anything is for sale with that said let's get down to this now let's talk about some of the changes we'll be making in the patch one of the issues we're addressing with the update is the power of Voltar's drones. They are too effective at tanking turrets and their maximum damage output is a bit too high. Everything is wrong with this paragraph or uh, with this sentence and I'll tell you why. It is not my fault. In a way, I can understand that the, uh, what is it, the drones can tank. It's a little bit, a little bit overpowered, but you have to understand that it is not my fault that I have the intelligence to use my drones effectively against turrets and you my opposing team are too stupid to realize that your turret is under attack and you are doing nothing to defend it so how is it my fault that you are not aware on what's going on or what's happening and yet, I'm being punished because you're just too stupid to realize what's going on. That is what's happening. I'm being punished for your stupidity. How is that fair? You know, and the maximum damage output is a bit too high on the drones. Uh, I think a little bit slightly. You know, you do have to understand that Voltar, he has no defensive abilities at all nothing you rely on your teammates too much that's the problem you know most people in this game are terrible so you can't rely on no one but yourself unless you're in a party with good people um the drones are the only thing that can even remotely protect them if their damage is a little bit high then i would assume you know that um they'll probably second guess attacking you but let's face it if you can't kill a voltar you suck Especially if you're like Leon or you're uh, Clunk, Froggy G. I mean, every class can completely destroy Voltar. And you're making him more accessible to utter destruction. You know, so we've reduced the drone's base health and replaced the four shield items with an item that makes the drone shots blind enemies. That's fine. Only idiots would even buy the shields to begin with because the drones are easily replaceable. Um, the blind ability, of course, in every game is different. I would assume that the blind ability, and most of the times, it's something that the dynamite from uh, Lone Star, where it kind of like disorients you, you see like, like it's all blurry and stuff like that. That's what I'm thinking it's going to do. If it does that, it is useless. It is crap. It is blasphemy for to even put that there why because you can see through that perfectly i mean unless like you wear like two sets of glasses to even see anything i mean you should see that like blurriness perfectly unless like your screen turns black for two seconds this is disgraceful this there's no reason why this should even happen Unless the blind ability maybe means, let's say, you can't move for two or three seconds. Uh, maybe you are slowed down or something. But if it's not anything that can help you, it's what the hell are you people doing? I, honestly, I don't understand. This does not justify the nerf. And according to them, to compensate... The drones now explode and deal a bit of damage when they die. This ties in with their second change, replacing the second shot damage item 
with an item that improves their explosion upon destruction. Both these changes make the joints better at support and defense as they were originally intended. This entire sentence or two sentences is utter crap. I'll tell you why. First off, um, I don't know if the developers are paying attention to the drones, but last time I checked, this is the last time, which is maybe like two months ago or, or like a month ago, the drones are in the air above Voltar's head. Last time I checked, the only other character that can fly in the air is Yuri. Everyone else is at the bottom, in the ground. So even if they explode in the air, who are they going to hit if they're in the air? You know, unless the explosion is like the size of Clunk's explosion. That would be perfect. Maybe. You know what? I applaud that. If not, if it just explodes in the air, beep. What? What good does it do? You, you can explode for a billion damage, but if it's not hitting anything, then it is worthless to me. Now, maybe if you guys were smart enough, maybe you could, before they die, um, let's say they can attach themselves to a nearby target and they can explode. Maybe, you know, it's that is a better idea than, oh, let's just explode in the air and they're going to do nothing. You know, I honestly, if the improves their explosion upon destruction means something, it's hopefully it's actually going to do something. Honestly, if it just explodes in the air and does nothing else but that, then this entire nerf has been unjustified. You have downgrade Voltar from like being the number one target. In awesome nuts to America's most wanted list. That's what you've done. You know that's this is the way how I feel. Uh, there's more stuff into it that I want to get into it, but I think this video is a bit too long as it is. But um, let me know what you guys actually think about this nerf. Am I the only one that I'm just overreacting, or do you feel the same way? Trust me, the Leon got a buff from what I read. He got a buff instead of a nerf. That's some other day. I'll probably be talking about it. Anyways, let me know what, what you guys think. Feel free to follow me on Twitch, Facebook, and of course on YouTube. Until then, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Be easy. Peace.